Good Wednesday morning once again to you, everyone. Meteorologist Vanessa Alonso here with the very latest on Hurricane Milton. It remains a very powerful major hurricane out in the Gulf of Mexico as it nears the state of Florida. Right now, it's a Category 4 hurricane with winds at 145 miles per hour. It is still forecast to move into the Gulf Coast of Florida later on tonight into early tomorrow morning as a major category three storm but this storm is going to pack a punch with tropical storm hurricane force winds upwards to 115 miles per hour or more a tornado threat heavy rain flash flooding you name it this is going to be a catastrophe for our friends in central Florida. It's looking like the center of the storm will make landfall somewhere near the Tampa Bay region, Sarasota area, and then quickly race through central Florida and exit through the Atlantic space coast of Florida as we head into Thursday evening and into our Friday. It will just become a remnant low out in the Atlantic. But we are already seeing this monster hurricane already bring its outer rain bands to parts of West Florida this morning. And those outer rain bands are bringing in tornado warned storms. We've already been getting confirmed reports of tornadoes on I-75 on Alligator Alley in Broward County, Monroe County, now moving up into parts of Central Florida. This is a tornado watch that's in effect until... 9 p.m. this evening but of course the tornado threat is just going to continue throughout the afternoon into the evening hours as the center of the storm will be making landfall somewhere near Sarasota Florida so we're definitely thinking of our friends there in Florida they're going to be dealing with this tornado threat a level three risk of tornadoes throughout the day today Back here at home, we are going to be seeing the 80s make a comeback, mostly sunny skies. We will have the very latest on Milton and what we can expect here tonight on KQ2 News.